If you visit Central Park in New York City, there's a bronze statue of Balto, the great Siberian Husky sled dog that brought medicine to save children in Alaska. Through 600 miles of glass-like ice, treacherous waters, and arctic blizzards in the winter of 1925, Balto pulled a sled, saving the lives of so many people. I mean, talk about legendary. There's not a chance that I, or my dog for that matter, will be getting a statue anytime soon. Well, that is unless it's commemorating the demise of thousands of cicadas defeated in our backyard right now. But it makes me wonder, what will others remember about me? Will I make an impact that lasts? There's a story in the Bible that turns this idea of legendary upside down. You may have heard the story about the Last Supper with Jesus and his 12 disciples. However, you might not have heard about the man who made it possible for this impactful story. You see, in the Gospel of Matthew, this story is recorded where there's a big Jewish holiday called Passover and it's about to occur. And the disciples ask Jesus, where will you have us prepare you to eat the Passover meal? They basically asked Jesus where they would like them to make reservations for the holiday. And Jesus responds by saying, go into the city to a certain man and say to him, the teacher says, my time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. Just picture if you were at the grocery store and a bunch of dudes came up to you and said, hey man, I'm having dinner at your place with my teacher and his friends. <laughs> nah, bro, that's not taking place in my house. But that wasn't this man's reaction. He was open to it. This certain man was the host for the Last Supper. He made it possible and we don't even know his name. We don't know his story, what he did for a job, how much money he made. There's no statue in this man's honor. All we know is what he did for Jesus and the disciples. His simple yes had a huge impact. So let me ask you this. What opportunities are right in front of you that require a simple yes? Simply showing up, being present, lending an open ear to listen to that friend that's having a hard time, an open heart to have compassion for those in need, an open hand to serve. How do you want to be remembered? We might not be famous according to the world standards, but we can still leave a legacy that lasts. Thanks so much for tuning in to Thought in 3. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with everything happening at The Journey.